So hi and welcome to yet another session. On today's video, we'll actually be customizing our emulator. So for those who are new to mobile development, an emulator is the software that you run on your PC that actually represents a mobile phone, but it's actually virtual. So in simpler terms, it's a software that helps you run mobile apps on your PC. So if you check on the screen, you'll actually notice that I've already configured mine, S23 Ultra. But we'll be doing another example, which will be the S24 Ultra. I hope you stay tuned and I hope you enjoy and I learn a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. So go ahead and open your browser and search for Galaxy Emulator Skins. Then you'll see a link from the Samsung official website. Click on it. So once you scroll down, it will actually give you a list of devices ranging from the latest, as you can see. So this is the S24 Ultra. I'll have to sign in. So for those who don't have an account, you can create one or just sign in using your Google account. So mine has already signed in. So go ahead and select the S24 Ultra and it should automatically start downloading. As you can see. So place the file in your preferred location. Let me set up mine. You can actually create a folder for emulator files so see so whatever we're downloading is the skin meaning that it's the appearance not the actual device you'll understand as we continue so go ahead and open the location where you've saved it let me open mine you first need to extract the file since you've downloaded it as a zip file. As you can see, I have mine, S24 Ultra, it's a zip file. So you need to extract it. You can actually follow the exact steps that I've done to make it easier. So extract to Galaxy S24 Ultra. So this creates a, a folder and extracts all the items inside. So we have a, a new folder, Galaxy S24 Ultra. So go back to your Android Studio and click on the device manager which is found on the right panel if your setup looks like mine so click on the device manager 
if this is not your first time, it should it should actually list a couple of emulators that you've already configured. But in your case, you'll have to create one. So click on the add new device. It gives you an option virtual or remote. In our case, it's a virtual device. Then click on the new hardware profile. So I'll give it the name. So I'll call it Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a phone. So you need to look up the dimensions. Let me open GSM Arena. So on the display, you actually need to note the inches and the pixels. So we'll go ahead. So this is 6.8 inches. So here on the inches, we'll write 6.8. Then for the resolution you have 1440 by 3120. 1440 by 3120. And you're almost done. So scroll down and you'll actually see an option for the default skin. Initially, there's no skin selected. So you'll have to select our skin that you've downloaded from the samsung website so click on the folder icon then scroll through the these locations and actually find your file in my case it's already here so i'll click on galaxy s24 ultra then click on ok It might actually bring this error. This skin directory does not have a, does not point to a valid skin. So go ahead, open that folder, and select the inner folder. Click on OK. So if it, if it doesn't bring an error, you don't have to do the last bit of opening the folder. And once you select your folder, it shouldn't bring up any error. Then click on finish then select on your hardware profile which is s24 ultra then click on next so you'll have to download a system image if it's your first time if this is not your first time you'll probably have already downloaded one like in my case i've already downloaded api 35 system image so I'll just select it then click on next then i'm done finish so you'll see it actually appears on the list of your device manager so let me start it to confirm so emulators are quite good when it comes to testing your mobile apps on your pc but the biggest downside is that they are resource intensive meaning they need a lot of resources by the resources i mean the processing power and the ram so that's something to note and there's a high likelihood that whenever you run your emulator when if you're using your laptop there's a high likelihood it will, it will overheat so it is most preferable for people using the desktop PC or you can opt to run it on your mobile phone which is something we'll cover later so it's still connecting so depending on your laptops or computers power starting the emulator might actually take a while so the better your PC the less time it takes and as you can see, it starts displaying. Mm. 
Nice. You can see it has the listing S24 Ultra in the screen and it's booting up. So if I check my task manager to actually monitor the usage, you can actually see that the CPU is up to 60%. And this KMO system and the Android Studio are actually taking up a lot of resources for the CPU, the memory, and the disk. So it's more preferable if you're running this on your desktop rather than on your laptop. So let's go back. can actually see it actually takes some some time to boot up so let's give it time as you can see it is finally up and running now before i finish this video i think you should test it with our previous project the calculator app so once your emulator is running so this lists the emulators once your emulator is running, you can actually see it appears quite different. And once you click on this other part, it lists all the available devices. So our S24 Ultra is available for running our app. So let's run our calculator app and confirm. And you can see it has started running. Nice, nice, nice. So we've confirmed that our emulator works, and you can actually see for those who are new to the channel, this is actually a project that we did. And if you're interested in knowing how we created all these, you can actually search on my channel and you'll actually see the full video, including the design part. So thank you for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And let's meet in the next video.